health sector, a meeting called to resolve the standoff between doctors and the government is ongoing at the KICC. The meeting is being chaired by Head of Public Service Felix Uzgay and brings together the Doctors' Union, Ministries of Health, Labor, Treasury and the Salaries and Remuneration Commission, among other state agencies. Our reporter Brenda Wanga is following the talks and now joins us live from the KICC. Good evening, Brenda. What can you tell us so far in as far as the progress is concerned? Well, Sam, we've been here at the KICC from around 5 p.m. this evening when this meeting called by the head of the public service, Felix Kuske, and incorporating ministers and ministries of health, labor, uh, treasury, and public service, as well as the Kenya uh, medical practitioners and dentists. A union has been ongoing from that time. They have been called here, uh, mandated by the court to actually sit at a table and try and iron out the issues that have led to the strike that enters its eighth day today. The doctors began their strike last week, complaining of a raft of issues that they say have remained unaddressed from 2017, when the last strike took the country uh, on the brink of a health crisis. Uh, that strike that resulted in a collective beginning agreement that the doctors then hoped would set the record straight and set matters in the health sector and the manner in which they are supposed to be. Those uh, agreements uh, contained in that CBA, the doctors say, have not been implemented to date. Uh, this strike starting last week, seeking to force the government's hand uh, to try and implement this, including matters to do with the human resource element of the uh, health sector. Uh, doctors complaining largely about uh, delayed uh, remuneration of, of the, the, the pay hikes that they had been promised in the CBA uh, issues to do with the management of the internship programs within uh, the Ministry of Health. Uh, they're saying that there are issues, either uh, there are delays in the posting of these interns and their remuneration packages as well being affected. Uh, they've talked about issues to do with their car loans, mortgages, issues to do with promotions at work and all these issues have been enumerated here in this meeting uh, at the opening of this meeting. The conciliation chairman are telling us that there are 19 issues on the table that the doctors are hoping will be addressed. The KMPDU has been trying to get uh, these issues re uh, resolved in the course of this week. They've held a number of meetings with the ministry, a number of meetings with the conciliation committee, but those meetings have not borne fruit. Today's meeting, uh, the head of the public service says, must bear fruit uh, because he says the doctors need to adhere to the Hippocrates oath that they took that says do no harm and every day of the strike means that there is harm being occasioned on the citizens uh, who depend on public facilities to get uh, their health uh, needs met. Uh, so we've been here from that time. Uh, we're being told that the meeting is about to come to a close and they're hoping that by the end of it all they will have been able to find a way uh, to move this uh, agenda forward to find a resolution that has seen a, a large percentage of the public hospitals in the country uh, nearly shutting down. Yesterday we saw a Kenyatta, a Kenyatta hospital and the Kenyatta University Teaching and Referral Hospitals, uh, doctors from these facilities also joining the strike today. Uh, we have been informed that uh, the Moy Teaching and Referral Hospital were also asked to join the strike. Uh, so slowly, uh, the head of the public service saying that if this issue is not resolved, then we could see a much bigger crisis. And this meeting has been called to try and avert that crisis. Some one of the other issues that the doctors have also raised uh, with this meeting, uh, with the members of this um, conciliation committee is the fact that they see or that they say that uh, they have the, the, the financial resources allocated to the health sector so far remains inadequate and they're asking that uh, the government considers allocating about 425 billion shillings uh, to the health sector to enable the counties and the national government uh, make sure that the health sector works and works in the manner that it is supposed to be, Sam. All right. Thank you so much, Brenda Wanga from the KSCC, and we'll stay with that story.